Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It is almost Valentine's Day, so today I wanted to share with you three half up, half down hairstyles that you can wear for Valentine's Day. Half up, half down hairstyles are the most universally flattering in my opinion. They tend to be very feminine and romantic and can be worn either sleek or more messy, kind of tousled. But as you guys know, I'm all about the quick and attainable and doable hairstyles. So all of these are really quick and simple to do. Pretty basic, just a few little tricks that you can use to do them on your own hair. Before we get started with those, I just wanted to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, which is Ana Luisa, one of my absolute favorite jewelry brands. I wear their stuff all of the time and they are actually currently running a Valentine's Day sale for 15% off of their beautiful jewelry through February 10th. So if you're still looking for a gift for a special someone then this is your chance. Ana Luisa uses 100% recycled gold and silver and they also only use lab grown diamonds so they are environmentally conscious and I really appreciate that in a brand. Their pieces are timeless and really high quality. I've been wearing their stuff for months now and not a single one of them has any damage whatsoever. Almost all of their jewelry is really nice and dainty so I really enjoy stacking their pieces on top of each other like these beautiful necklaces for example and I'm also wearing this bracelet which I'm pretty sure is new in their web shop and it is super unique it has this safety pin almost style links and a very unique closure that I haven't seen anywhere else before it's really cool and also this beautiful dainty little stacking ring which I honestly like wearing just on its own because it's nice and subtle and that's how I like my jewelry There will be a link in the description box to their website that you can go check out if you're interested. 15% off until February 10th for the Valentine's Day sales, so be sure to check it out. And yes, without further ado, let's get into the hair tutorial. First thing I'm going to do is curl my hair, and that's going to be the base for all of my hairstyles. So I'm going to section off my hair, make sure that I get all the pieces, and this is also going to help me blend in these extensions a little bit better. So I'm using a tapered curling iron, and I'm going to be... Twisting my hair around that, pull it for a few seconds, it's gonna be a pretty little curl like that. So I'm gonna do that all around my hair, section by section, until everything is curled and then I will be back to show you the next step. Alright, my hair is curled so I'm just quickly going to run my fingers through to loosen up these curls a little bit. You know what, actually I'm gonna quickly just give them a little brush because I'm going for more of a wavy style rather than tight ringlet curls. I want everything to be nice and soft and romantic. First thing I'm going to do is take some hair from my crown right here and I'm going to gently backcomb that a little bit to create a bit of a poof in the back here. I always feel like half up styles are just a little bit more flattering when there is some volume at the top. So I'm just making my way forward, little by little, backcombing as I go. It doesn't need to be huge. Just a little bump like that. Carefully smooth that over with my comb. All right, so next up, I'm going to take two strands, one from each side, which I am going to tie together in the back using one of these little rubbery hair elastics. Okay, so when it's tied, I'm going to take that ponytail and I'm going to flip it over on itself through that little hole that I had. And mine is pretty loose, so I'm actually gonna do it twice. And when I have that, I'm going to take two more strands from right below that. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to tie this off with a little hair elastic. And then flip it in on itself. That should leave you with something like this. And now you can go back and see if there's anywhere where you need to tweak it a little bit. I personally like to gently tug at these rolls on the top here to make them a little bit looser. A bit more messy. And then for this style, I am going to add this little clip with little hearts that I think would be really cute, especially for Valentine's Day. 
Max style is really fun, really cute, and super simple to do. Once again, I'm gonna take two strips of hair from the side, but you want these to be pretty substantial, so make sure they are thick enough. And then I'm gonna tie these together with another little hair elastic. So this time we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did last time, only this time I'm going to go from the bottom up. Like that, just once. And then I'm going to split my ponytail in two. So that I have two even halves, which I am then going to start twisting like that. And then I'm going to tie them together again. A little bit lower and you can already see we're starting to create a little bit of a heart shape here and this is basically it but just to be sure that this really stays in all day I am going to just stick in a bobby pin on both of these loops and there you have a really cute heart shape half up to super quick super easy to do but really adorable this would be perfect for children as well on to the last hairstyle and that is going to be braided so let me just move to the side here for that i'm going to start at the front of my hair here where i'm going to take a strand of hair split that in three and i'm going to start braiding i'm going to start braiding under so do one round and then I'm going to slowly start adding hair to these sections so that we're doing a Dutch braid that's going to go to the back of my head along the front. All right, and when I've reached the center of the back of my head, I'm just going to finish a few more loops and tie it off for now. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. My hair extension strip is showing here, but we're gonna fix that later, don't worry. So next you want to go back to these braids and kind of make them bigger by tugging at the sides. Make sure these are really big and fluffy and voluminous and basically as big as you can get them. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then in the back, I'm going to cross these braids over each other and pin them down with however many bobby pins I need to make this feel nice and secure. There you go, that is the finished hairstyle. This is also really quick, really simple to do, but I always feel like this packs a punch. It looks super pretty, super romantic and feminine. If you want it, of course, you could add the little hair clip here as well. I personally really like embellishing hairstyles like these with just a little bit extra, but it works just as well without the clip. So that is hairstyle number three. Those are the three styles that I wanted to share with you today, guys. Of course, you can save a lot of time by not curling your hair or using an overnight curling method. That just makes things a little bit quicker when you move on to do the actual styles. And in that case, you should be able to do all of these within just a couple of minutes. Don't forget to check out the Valentine's Day sale over on Anne Louisa. And a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!